Right now, Earth is the only known place where life exists in the whole universe. We've looked in many places like Mars, Venus, Titan, and Europa, but we haven't found any signs of life yet. However, if we stop and think about how many stars there are in the universe, way more than the grains of sand on Earth, and how most of these stars have their own planets, it's hard to believe that Earth is the only place with life. Luckily, our exploration has found some other places that look promising. Let's go on a quick journey to the most amazing exoplanets we've discovered. Unlike the dry and barren Mars, these planets are full of life and possibilities. They're even better than Earth in some ways. They're bigger, more suitable for life, and incredibly appealing. In today's episode, we are going on a journey to explore planets that are better for life than Earth. This is Reveal the Mystery. If you are curious to learn mysteries of the world, space and beyond, consider subscribing. TRAPPIST-1 SYSTEM Imagine that we found a place not too far away, just 39 light years, where life could possibly exist. Around a star, there's a family of seven planets similar to Earth, and three of them are in a zone where living conditions might be right. This group of planets is called the TRAPPIST-1 system, and scientists discovered it in 2017. For five years, these scientists have been really focused on studying these planets to see if there's any sign of life. To find these planets, scientists watch how the light from their star changes when the planets pass in front of it. It's like watching a shadow move across a light. This is called the transit method. These planets are actually much older than Earth, so any life there would have had around 3 billion years to develop before Earth was even fully formed. One of these planets, TRAPPIST-1e, is interesting to scientists. It's a bit smaller than Earth and has the right conditions for water to exist. There's even a possibility it has more air like oxygen than we do on Earth. But this whole star system is different from ours. The planets go around a very small and cool star that's similar in size to Jupiter. Because of this, the planets have to be really close to their star, so close that their paths could fit within the space where Mercury goes around our Sun. Being so close creates some challenges. These planets might have one side that's always hot because it's facing the star, and another side that's always cold because it's facing away. But in the middle, there could be a strip of land with just the right conditions for life. The most exciting part is thinking about what it would be like to live on these planets. They're so close together that you could look up and see other big planets in the sky, almost like they're dancing with each other. It's even fun to think about going on vacation to these planets, like visiting different countries. You could go skiing on one planet and then have a summer holiday on another. Considering that this place is only 39 light years away, it's possible that someday in the future, people might actually be able to go there and explore. Kepler, 452b next up is Kepler 452b, often called Earth 2.0 because it's so much like our planet. Imagine it's like Earth's twin. It goes around a star that's similar to our sun, taking about 384 days for a full trip, just a tiny bit longer than our year. This also means that each month there would be about 32 days on Kepler 452b, which might feel familiar. But there's something special. Kepler 452b is what we call a super-Earth, which means it's about 50% bigger than our planet. This makes it like a bigger version of Earth, with more land and maybe more water. Even though Kepler 452b sounds good, there are some not-so-great things to think about. Even though it's only half again as big as Earth, it's actually five times heavier, which means you'd feel much heavier there. Imagine everything you do, like walking or jumping, being twice as hard. But here's where it gets interesting. As far as we know, Kepler 452b is the only planet around its star, unlike us with many planets around the Sun. You might wonder why it doesn't have a big planet like Jupiter, which we think helps protect Earth from getting hit by things from space. Surprisingly, New studies suggest that without a big planet like Jupiter, there might actually be fewer things hitting planets, like a shield gone missing. This brings us back to Kepler 452b, because it's all by itself. The people or creatures living there might not need to worry about things hitting their planet. But things aren't perfect. The star that Kepler 452b goes around is older than our Sun, and older stars can sometimes be more active. This means more stuff like energy and heat coming from the star. Over time, 
This extra stuff could warm up the planet too much, like a car getting too hot in the sun. This warming might be so strong that it changes the planet a lot, making it less like Earth and more like Venus, which wouldn't be good for any life living there. This is Reveal the Mystery. If you are curious to learn mysteries of the world, space and beyond, consider subscribing. KOI 5715.01 This is like a top choice for an amazing place where life could live. This planet is really huge, two times bigger than Earth. It goes around its star in a zone where things are just right for having water on the surface. Water is super important for life as we know it. Imagine a planet so big that flying from one part to another would take more than 100 hours. That means there's a lot more room for living things compared to Earth. This planet goes around a different kind of star. Our Sun is called a yellow dwarf star, and it usually exists for about 10 billion years. Our Sun is already halfway through its life, which means in about 5 billion years, it will grow and might even swallow Earth. Now let's talk about KOI 5715.01. This planet goes around a star that's not like our Sun. These stars are a bit smaller but more steady. Some of them can exist for up to 70 billion years. To put things in perspective, life on Earth has only been around for about 4 billion years. Imagine how different life might be after 70 billion years. This is when civilizations could become really advanced, maybe even thinking about big ideas like Dyson Spheres. Although this world might sound perfect, and you might really want to go there, I have to be honest, this planet is very, very far away. We're talking about 3,000 light years, which is a crazy distance. To give you an idea, even if we used a spaceship like NASA's Orion and somehow got it to work right now, the trip would still take more than 100,000 years. Maybe in the future, we'll build faster spaceships that can get us there in a reasonable time. But for now, all we can do is dream about what cool creatures could be living over there. That's it for today. If you liked today's episode, you can also watch this other video popping on your screen.